after waiting for three months. It's in the air! Afternoon or evening. What is up? My name is Marta. Jason just got my mouse. Hey, this is Jason. That's Ilona. Uh, he's got the mouse. He loves to steal it always. How are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome to Volus. Welcome to Volus Vibes. That's what I always say. Welcome to our lives and welcome to uh, pretty much the end of the day already. I and literally I just spot biscotto like cookie on my hand. Dude, you make me dirty. Your little little mouth made me dirty. Ah. Yeah, Jason just had his first little piece of cookie. We tried to give him no sugar at all, but sometimes it's just... Well, actually, no, we don't give him any sugar. I didn't want to talk about that. I got something in the mail on Monday. After waiting for three months, Banggood had a back order on my ordered drone. I'm so happy. I saved up so long for this. Like, literally, I saved up a long time for this camera that I have right here. I saved up for it a little bit with all the work that we did in Germany and the Netherlands, of course, all that kind of stuff. You're looking mighty fine, dude. We're going outside before it gets it's too dark. What? What? What's that? Okay. Yeah? Okay. And what else? <laughs> so yeah, that's how, how he talks lately. Usually he's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And now he's like, very serious. But yeah, what? Okay, yeah, thank you, actually, thank you. But we have to get outside because I got this drone on Monday. It's now Wednesday. Monday, the weather started out being great. Then we had a lot of things to do. Would you mind to stop complaining for one second, please? Thank you. And then at the end of the Monday that we did all the things, it started raining and becoming horrible weather and I couldn't fly anymore. And I'm gonna do a full review, unboxing thing and everything, but that's the drone. That's I'll show you in a second. Uh, meanwhile, you can see how good he, uh, what well, I want to say. Meanwhile, you can see how good Jason can also play in a park because that's what we did. That's what we did this morning. It was super nice weather. And we went to the park. And we're also going to another park. We have made it. Uh, the weather is great, by the way. The weather has been great the last couple of days. Yeah. Monday afternoon was just horrible. Yep. And also, my parents went back to the Netherlands, and at that date, it was also horrible. Let's get back to that because they, uh, my mom took uh, Jason for a little walk, huh? In the rain. I gotta hurry up because ah. I have sunset here, or sun is pretty much set. We're at the Panthesalico Stadium, which is a very nice place, and you don't have anything here that really obstructs you from flying here, so good place for a maiden flight. That's the moon, Jason. The moon. Lampochka. Figari. Figari. Lamp. Ilona just literally senses the lamp. Okay, but uh, my maiden flight. Let's get the tripod. 
because I have never flown it. I've seen it a lot of times. How much of a dad can you be? Like bottles of water and, and, and diapers with your child seat in the back of the car. I'm very excited. I have seen so many videos about the Femi X8 SE. Actually, I got it recommended also by a video that was from Tech It Series. They also fly their drones here. That's also why I risk doing it here a little bit more. I've been reading the drone laws in Greece. They're a little bit more strict actually than in the Netherlands, but uh, I think the geofencing, which is literally like a fence in the sky that is made by satellites and everything. I hope it will work decently around here. Why don't I use this as a tripod? Well, we're gonna fly a drone, Jason. We've got a little uh, protector over the, the lens here, a gimbal, 3-axis gimbal that is on there. It has the same kind of camera and maybe a little bit better actually than the Mavic. Some people see it know like DJI's a lot because it's like one of the fa most favorite brands. But this this case actually, this one uh, was a lot cheaper. Definitely definitely not a lot, a lot less worse or something. That word's difficult. I'm very excited. It looks pretty so that's fine with me. Now. We need, of course, something to control this. We've got the controller here. You can stretch to put your phone in there. Two antennas. Kind of sensitive for Wi-Fi, of course. We've got a little cable that we need to attach to our phone. And in here, there are these little... It's tucked away all the way. And I don't have nails, so it's a little bit difficult for me. But these are the joysticks. And just twist them on. Look, I'm shaking. I'm so excited, people. Can you help me? I don't have nails. I bite my nails. Open this little thing on the bottom. Thank you. 50 euros. <laughs> We're gonna turn it on. It's also going to be a very good test to actually see if it's, uh, if it's capabilities to fly in like this lower light, if it's also good to, uh, to film. System preheating, gumball not ready, but we've got now System preheating, please wait. Unable to enter GPS mode, please be careful. Uh, we're not gonna fly without GPS. I'm turning off my Wi-Fi. Actually, I'm turning off everything, pretty much. GPS, ready to go, 10 satellites. I am not, I don't have a screen recorder or something, but you can see there, ready to go, GPS, 10 satellites. So we should be okay. Made in flight. I can start manually, but I can also start... No, we're gonna do it manually. It's in the air! Windy! That's the port. Let's uh, take off. We're already flying at 60 meters height. Officially, uh, without license, you're not allowed to fly more than 50 meters away is what I've learned so far, but uh, and the image is perfect. I'm now steady. I'm gonna pan around a little bit. Oh, they're panning sideways. I still have to learn, people. Now we're gonna pan around. So we have down there the Helicodrome Mio, panning down a little bit, you see? Well, the image is a little bit laggy for me. No, we are straight down there. Can we see the car? Yeah, we can see us. You can, you can see hey, Ilona you walk around also. We cannot see it anymore. We're at 100 meters height, 106 meters height right now. Wow, it's beautiful. The sky is amazing, by the way. Yeah, it's a very nice quality. Well, for what we see, and actually yeah. later what we're going to see is going to be a little bit better even. Well, let's check the stadium. Flying is a little bit difficult still for me, and the responsiveness is very delayed because we're so high, so... Go lower. Nah, because I'm afraid to hit something. That looks so cool. Everything set to automatic right now, of course. So everything you see is literally automatic. Like the white balance, the the light might be a little bit darker than you actually think, but the colors are still amazing. Look at Volos there, people. Let's stop the recording for a second and take a picture. We're still at 
87% battery, so photo taken succeed. Let's come, uh, let's push for fun the, the go home, let's go home button. And then we start recording. Where is it? Right above us, probably. That's okay, we're 100 meters high, so yeah. I'm gonna send it back home. I just uh, flipped the switch right here, and now it's going to uh, auto return, we hope. We'll hear it in a second. Where yeah. is home? In China? No, no, it's right above us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it now. So, uh, because I literally flew that. over the stadium. Yeah, but now we need to be careful that it doesn't land our head, you know? Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Film that. It's beautiful. It comes down so fast. It's very windy, by the way, also. I can hear, I can hear the engines go like, vroom. It does not have any ob object sense, so... Uh... Come down, my boy, come down. That was scary! Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, I have not even flown that long right now and the SD card's already full. And it's 32 gigabytes card that's in there, but I also recorded at the beach, remember? All of a sudden the video just yeah we're going home dude we're going home all of a sudden the video just ended somehow because the camera uh, was also full the memory card that's when you film a lot and you don't edit a lot and you don't make videos a lot like you used to i'm very happy with it i'm very happy with this drone cooling down a little bit because it was nice and warm on the bottom that's also why it says like preheating it works amazing like a charm we're gonna fly it a lot more, but you're gonna see that probably in this vlog because we're gonna end the vlog uh, not here, but we're gonna continue it on another day where it's a little bit sunnier and then we're gonna go to the beach, for example. So this is completely gonna be a drone vlog. Do you mind, dude? Because you have to go to bed, I think. I did. I did. You didn't sleep. Only 20 minutes a day and 10 minutes on your boob. That's a pl fine place to sleep, I guess. Bye bye, Panthasaleko. Bye bye, drone. See you in a little.
the moment that that happened, I was devastated. That moment already has been months ago as well. I ordered this drone on the 13th of September 2019. And I was super happy with it, of course, waiting for it for months before it actually actually arrived at my place. They said about a week, was in back order, took about three months, can happen. Super happy when it finally arrived, super happy when we did the first flights, as you could see. And then, uh, yeah, battery failure. It might look all good to you, but uh, here there's like cracks in between. But before I show you that, let me let, let's go over the footage for a second and show you what happened because as you can see the drone is just hanging here steady in the sky uh, i was not touching anything i just had it taken completely to return to home aiming down the camera all the way to see where i'm at and i wanted to start landing didn't push anything weird didn't do anything weird and out of nowhere i because i had visual also i had visual contact with the drone on that height and i see it come down like zoom, 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 zoom full engine throttle they were completely trying to to balance themselves out but as you can see here in this little screenshot there is a, a notification that the battery is having a failure and that's literally the reason that it came storming down the ground and crashed completely of course this has no issues there's nothing wrong with the with the controller everything is in there ready to be sent to Banggood because Femi did not reply anymore and uh, yeah, this is not what it's supposed to do, especially not like this. I have been so careful with it all the time, like putting it so nicely in the box. Legs of aluminium broke off completely here. This one was completely jammed into the inside. There's more. It's all just horrible. I actually looked up if I could save it somehow, but no, I couldn't. Uh, funny thing is though, the gimbal and the camera and everything and the uh, hardware on the inside is still working, but because there are no Fimi dealers here around, it is not possible to get it uh, fixed with uh, spare parts or anything like that. I contacted Fimi, which is the brand, on the day that it crashed down pretty much i think it was a day later actually because i couldn't get away from all the feelings that i had because i had been saving up for this boy got in touch with them had a good conversation pop up an email here actually that i've sent it was a long email described everything that was wrong with it and they replied me back like okay thank you get back with this and i thought okay we're gonna have some action on it we're gonna get this fixed maybe i'll get a new drone or something like that because in all honesty i just want this thing to fly and because i was so careful of the drone i really wanted to make sure that I read the manuals before I take off. I look up some videos about how to fly a drone. I look up the rules to, so I can follow all the rules. And I let Fimi know also, like I followed everything by the rules. I read the manual, I did all this. I didn't do anything wrong. And I can see that there's in my screen recorder that there's a mistake. My flight recorder shows that there's a mistake with the battery. It just pops up all, time, all of a sudden in the vaults. It gets all red, it shows like there's no battery anymore. Comes crashing down on the floor. Nothing could help it, nothing could save it. Fimi did not answer anymore. I sent two repeat emails with all the information that I had. I received their RMA form filled in and sent it back to them. And since then we didn't hear anything from them anymore. I sent and I sent and I sent, nothing. Why not contact Banggood actually, the company that, that I ordered the drone from. Okay, I got some live dead contact with them, got it all figured out. They said, contact us by email, contact us by this. Let me tell you that today we have the 10th of May, 2020, Mother's Day. And now finally, since way back in November 2019, they tell me that they can do a refund or maybe ship a new drone. But until we got that far, I only got messages like, thanks for contacting us. We have informed after salesman to reply it soon. Could you wait 24 to 48 hours for update? Hope you're understanding. If you need any further information, blah, blah, blah. It has been continuously like that. And then finally Banggood says like, okay, thank you for your feedback regarding your order. We want to express our genuine apology for all inconvenience cost. And then you think, okay, that might be very nice of them, of course, to say. But then all the messages that come after us have exactly the same starting to their emails. It's literally copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. How genuine do you think you're being helped at that moment then? My biggest issue right now is that I am not flying my drone that I wanted to fly this summer. I would have love to fly a Fimi X8 SE. There's a new version that came out right now. It's the 2020 version. Maybe the, this one had some issues also. I do not know. 
stuff happens because it's the first decent like foldable drone that uh, Xiaomi Fimi made actually so yeah they made very good drones already in the past but this one for me did not do it definitely I would not recommend it now to buy it uh, the 2020 version if I ever get a new drone uh, I'm definitely gonna try this one and I would definitely show you now so far um, I don't want to end this vlog on a negative note. At the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we were trying to give Jason some, uh, well, you're gonna laugh, definitely, because it, it, it's faces, it's Jason, it's sweet, it's cute, stuff like that, you know? Hi, Mr. Jason here. Just found a bottle of lemon juice. Yes. And you like it, huh? Now, because he likes this, I wonder if he likes real lemon. I just squeezed a decent amount in his mouth and he wants more. It's so sour. It's like literally, it's like pure, it's not dressing or something, it's pure lemon. 100% lemon juice. Hmm? This Jason is a real lemon. I should not cut next to you like this, but yes, let's not do it then in general at all. But let's take a slice out of there. Whoa, it's very juicy. Let's stop this because you, you don't eat the plastic also, otherwise. Here. Dave? Crackers? D? What is this? Chase crackers? Oh, D? Dave's a show. Huh? Kids these days don't even know the difference between real, real lemon. VD. I'm way deeper here. Here. And now he wants the light. He wants the knife. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna thank you for watching this one. If you like this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below because I love to read them. We always reply. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.